Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. We just uh, now getting logged in here and um, checking out our money. I think we got about 400 galleons left to get before we Let's can buy look at what we have, shall that, we? Um, three medium pots. Yep. And another 1500 to get the chopping station. Let so, me know if there's anything else um, I can do to help. I think that. I was wondering when I'd see you. You again. know. I Let's might reverse course have, a little bit here and go and get the chopping station since Nothing it could like be generating right stuff thing, for us while we're out and about collecting galleons for that um, triple medium pot setup. So let's go ahead and go back to Hogwarts and to the room of requirement and we'll set up a few of them, hoping that we'll be able to do at least three, kind of like the uh, hopping pot situation with the potion generation. All right, let's see what we got here. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. That's basically the only thing that Deke says. Okay, um, pick up, pick up, and pick up. All right, let's go down here and let's find our conjuration stuff. And here we go. Hey, there we go. Scientific chopping station. We can get up to three of them. Okay. Let's see where would be a good spot. I guess we could just kind of temporarily line them up here and we'll come back and maybe uh, make this a bit better later. But just for my particular this, I want to go ahead and move this just a little bit. There we go. I got them lined up. So this will make in about nine minutes an ingredient each. So that's good. That's like one every three minutes. Um, I don't think we have anything to harvest because we cleared everything out before going back to the shop. So yeah, I think we're ready for an adventure of some sort. Let's see what we have on the map. Um, it's like there's at least one more mission over here. And what do we have? Summer's court match, but there's also this Depulso room number two. I kind of like to check that out. Um, how are we going to get to it? I guess we'll just warp here. Ah, I should have walked too. I keep forgetting that I need to collect the rest of those keys. All right. Let's see, is this leading us back inside? No, it's not. Maybe. Hmm. Well, maybe it is leading us back inside. Let's follow the mini map. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's to be having issues with making the trace, so we'll just go this way. Okay. So it is inside. Presumably, yep. Here we go. Emily. It's a little more. Uh, there we go. See what's back here before we go too far. Huh, just another door. Curious that we'd have to do an unlock on this door. I wonder why. Hey, 
among the little butterflies. Wonder to which place it belongs. Alohomora. Here we go. Easy peasy. Rebellion. Wonder what room this is. Oh, Professor Bins. Okay. Professor Bins, I must say I was baffled by your recent observation that students, in your opinion, seem to be rather lethargic. I can confidently say that I have not seen evidence of such lethargy in my own class. I even took it upon myself to speak with some students in the hope of getting to the bottom of this anomaly. Upon this, I soon learned that you have been lecturing them on the little-known facts of historical conflicts. Perhaps you might think of moving more swiftly through the finer details. One of them was almost in tears describing a test question pertaining to Grimbald Weft and the number of buttons found on a wizard's garment in the Rebellion of 1752. Apparently, one additional button above the norm had been affixed. It's entirely up to you, but students likely struggle to appreciate such nuances. Only my opinion, of course, and I do hope you don't mind my mentioning. Sincerely, Abraham Ronan. Rebellion. Oh, so this professor is a little drab, I suppose. Got all the crazy books and stuff in here. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's see. Need to do us an Accio. Accio. Okay. Oh, what kind of stuff? Ah, oh, it's a level 2 unlock. Right. I'll be getting that. This needs a deposit. There we go. Hopefully I won't have to cheat on any of these. Alright. I don't think Rebellion. there's going to be a treasure right here in the first spot, so we'll check in the next. Okay, we've got a staircase. Wow, right off the bat, this looks like a bigger play area than before. I don't see any immediate markers of there being a treasure chest in the room, though. So I wonder if we're just gonna... Oh, there's one up over there, actually. I'll take that back. Interesting that there's a little lantern hanging out there, too. Okay. Um... Wow, looks like there's multiple levels of pieces that we could be bringing over here. That's not gonna work. Um, hmm. A T shape. Just trying to think of like, what could we do with that? If I pull this over, it's just gonna slam and not be very helpful. Now why isn't this one moving? Oh, it's like an L shape. I see. Ooh. And then there's another one. Holy moly. This is like way harder. Um Hmm. Now I wonder if this joins them together. It does. Fascinating. Um. Hmm. Now, if only we could do something like... Here we go. I guess they're forever stuck together. I wonder if we need to reset the room now. Let's go ahead and try that. Hmm. Accio. 
Well, if that one joined, I wonder if that'll make a difference with anything. Just make a mega block over here. This would be enough to help me climb up there. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Um, I was hoping that I could like, maybe I can actually. Let's try. See, we're actually pretty close. If we can get this just moving a little bit to make it over to that treasure, but you know, this looks like it's the only room too. I mean, like. The treasure is the only thing to do in here. There's not like an exit. Weird. Um, Rebellion. Weird. Okay. I could just about make that jump. Um, I'm going to try pushing it forward. Then we'll do it. Reset. Okay. Now let's see if we can jump on it. Let's try again. I'm pretty sure that I've conjoined these in such a way that they're not going to work anyways. Yeah, let's get a reset. Alrighty then. So, I feel like there's got to be some way to join these in such a way that they could do something together. Like, having this one that's down low makes me think that it can be joined with that and still, like, bridge over this and act as a stopper on this part. And maybe it can. Maybe I just need to do things in a proper order. Um, oops, don't want to do that. Come on now. Okay. So, let's see. But where would this guy come into place? So now that's joined. Let's try pulling it over this way and see what it looks like. I guess there's really no reason we can't go ahead and join it like this. Now they can kind of go over together. Why not? And let's see what happens when we pull it over this way. Hmm. Ah, this might just do it, because I can do this, and then join it, and then that would stop it from moving when I pull it back over this other way, and I don't think I'll be able to climb it, though. That's the problem. Yeah. I think conceptually I'm close, but not quite there yet. Yeah, because now I won't be able to climb. It's too bad it's a no-fly zone. Um, however, let's go back up here for a second. Yeah, this whole being joined thing is uh, going to mess us up here. There's no separating it. 
Hmm. Maybe I need to pull it. Wow, interesting. I can't pull it that way. So I say maybe I need to pull it this other way, but apparently you cannot. And it's also interesting how they're... Ah, it's because of the two. Okay. But let's try pulling it this way first. And then what about sending it over this way? Oh, turn it. That's embarrassing. Can you make the jump? He can. Okay. So let's do this. Where does that put us? Right here. Okay. Um. Doesn't really help me climb, but let's see. If we send that over. Still not going to help us climb any. So let's pull this over one more time. And how about we pull this over and then we can join this one up. Perhaps now we'll have a stair step of sorts. This may actually be onto something here. Um, so let's go. Oh, are we stuck now? I think we're stuck now. So I think the mistake I made was I should have done that after I pulled this out. Yeah, it's going to be stuck. Okay. So let's pull this one out first. So we don't make the same mistake twice. We'll pull this one. There we go. And we'll pull this one. And if we don't get it another try or two, I may look up the solution just so we can go ahead and get the loot. But it's been fun and kind of interesting. Ah, so that one's getting stuck. But maybe I'm supposed to climb up here. And let's see. This still won't solve our problems, though. So now I'm up over right here. Hmm. Accio. I wish I could have got it to safely come over far enough that I could climb, but yeah, I think once again, this is going to be a bust. So, let me reset one more time. I can't believe how hard this one is. Um, let's see. So, I just feel like we got to form a staircase somehow. And it really just needs to be one block higher. The mystery to me is this two piece one. I mean really all of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and look this one up. I'm I'm not sure about it. It's trickier than expected. See if we can follow this god. Accio. Okay, it says to let's see. I think we want to do this and then 
What's next? Okay, so we want to pull it here. Okay. And then we want to do Depulso to the back wall. Okay, I think I was actually partway there with my solution earlier, but I just didn't quite get it. According to this guy, I was getting pretty close. All right, Depulso, the same two creeps again to push them into the left corner. Okay. So, I think I went the wrong way was what I did last time. So I pushed it. Um, the other way, so. Now let's see. Akio. There we are. Wow, that was so close. Stylish and formal school uniform. It's an upgrade. Excellent. Uh, down here, outfit. Ah. Well, I guess it's not really much of an upgrade. It's going to be minus three overall. Uh oh, it's getting harder. Looks like we got a pathway opened up here. Um, I don't know if anything changed, so so now we gotta figure out how to exit the room. And holy moly, it's a lot more um, steps to get out of this one. So let's see. Da -da. All right. Let's see if we can get this right. So that goes over there. And then two cubes in the corner. All right, so we're gonna pull this over a different way. Let's see, I think we gotta be like right here. Okay, and then we're going to Accio this over to the other side. All right, and this should connect the two of them. Now we gotta go to Pulso it. Got it. All right. And that'll make another connected L shape like what we had before. All right. Uh. Makes sense. I think it, I'm seeing another formation of a staircase or something going on here. Depulso. Cool. I'm gonna have the two cubes in the right of the room to pull them in the black block in the middle. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I doubt I would have gotten this right on my own. This is tough. Okay. Now we gotta Accio them. Accio. And what else do we wanna do? Ah, okay, so we wanna pull them over to the right now. Okay. And then we'll activate it again. All 
Alright. Here we are. I think this might be it. Um, assuming that I got it correct. Yeah, here we go. Oh, can we not climb? Okay. Yeah, I don't think that I would have got that puzzle on my own. That was tough. Really tough. Wow. Man, congratulations, you ever figured that one out. That was tough. And to the puzzle designer. That would have stumped me, I'm telling you. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm tempted to just go ahead and follow the guides. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Alright. This will be fun, learning the pattern. Alright, so also on the three stack cubes on the left to push them forward. I assume that it's these guys? I can't tell if there's three though. There are. Okay. Accio on the U-shaped platform on the right to pull it towards you. Assume it's talking about this guy. Hmm. I guess that, that wasn't quite the right spot. Um, U-shaped. I'm not sure what spot it's talking about. Maybe I didn't do it in the right spot. Like maybe I need to do it in the front over here. There we go. That's what it was. Okay. There we go. Okay. Wow. Can't believe I made that jump. Loose black and white pinstripe scarf. Now we're going to do a depulso to the right corner. Okay. Depulso. Okay, now we're going to pull these out. Um, let's see which way. There we go. I think it, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Are you shape platform to pulse through on the line? <laughs> Excuse me. I have four connected cubes to push them to the left wall. Ah, here we go. And let's see. And then. We want to do this. All right. Hmm. Let me see. From the U-shaped platform, I can a line of four connected cubes to pull them into the front left corner. The front left corner. Ah. I think I messed this up just a little bit, so we actually need to do this and then push these forward. I see now. 
front left corner. Now we'll put that over there on it. Okay. Seven of the cubes are connected. Akio and the seven cubes just connected. Pull them back towards the entrance of the room. Oops. Okay. Now I'll climb these to get the second chest. Nice. Yeah, I definitely would have uh, loved this order up. I just. I'm not the best at these kinds of uh, 3D sliding puzzles. Like, I'm barely capable of doing a sliding puzzle. It's 2D, so. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're gonna depulso these into the corner again. Alright. Now from the U-shaped platform, Macchio is seven and pull them to the right and I'll stop halfway and connect to the long shape. Okay. Alright. There we go. Wow, I didn't think I'd make that jump. There we go. And here we go. Ah, we got a stuffed toy dragon. Cool. Assume that that goes in the room of requirement. Wow, that it was tough. I really don't think that I could have solved that in any sort of timely manner without a guide. Like, look how long it took me with a guide. <laughs> Man, impressive. Like I said, uh, way to go, puzzle designer. It was tough. All right, let's see. Guess we'll step back out this way. And... What else? What else? Um, I feel like there's something I wanted to look at. I guess we have time. We can go back to the room of requirement, and I'll uh, I'll walk there this time. Nope. Oh, didn't mean to fast travel. Darn it. I meant to set it as a uh, objective, but that's okay. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I guess we'll have a. Uh, Shopping station output or two as well, so that'll be good. Nice, smell of sweet leaves, flex sweet stem, and Disney leaves. Alright, what else can we get? Guess we're good on Mandrake and good on Tentacula. All right, cool. Let's see how we doing on potions. So, yeah, we need a few more. So let's uh, use up this Endurance potion real quick. So that way, maybe we'll get some other things generated. And do we have any unidentified clothing? No, not yet. Let's go pet our animals a little. Come on, pretty animals. Come on, little buddy. Come on, Flooper. Super Flooper. Oh yeah, give me that for her. Oh, 
thought I saw. There we go. No extras. I'm here to harvest. That's it. <laughs> oh, the sweeper is ready for petting. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Is there anyone else? Oh, this one hasn't been collected. Let's see. I think that we got everything. Yep. And... Hmm. Yeah, I guess since we're not breeding right now, we could go ahead and take these out. Um... Let's go ahead and put you back in the inventory. Oops. Everything's all right. And we'll do the same for this one. Um, I guess that means we probably should grab the other Puskeen and the other Flooper. And let's go with our Toad and our Unicorn so that we can start getting some stuff off of them too, hopefully. Already eating. You got a little unicorn, buddy. Come on, bud. Eat up. Wonder how long the interaction on the unicorn takes. Uh, 24 minutes, just like everybody else, for 25. The toad's still hungry? Oh, it's wanting creamy. Oh, sorry, buddy. I totally understand if you're not happy with me now. I'm sorry. Come back, please. <laughs> Alright. Well, interesting. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. On, give me the fertilizer. Ooh, that's a little disturbing. Alright, what's our conjuration that we have here? Except Toy Dragon, just like it said. Alright, um, so I think everything's doing its thing now, and let's see if we can get any upgrades done now that we had a couple more unique things um, there. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right. It's doing it for the achievements. Good. So, with all that done, where do we want to go next? Um, let's see about our map. Nope. Oh, let's check out our gear first. That's a big downgrade. I think this one is too. Yep. Hmm. Do we have enough we need to clear our inventory though? No, not really. I think we could wait till later. Um kinda would be nice to see how much money we'd have, but I mean it's probably gonna be a like four or five hundred at most, let's say. Alright, let's check out our map. I do see that there's a mission over here. Um Summer's Core match two. Okay, this time I'll actually walk so that we can um, see about getting another one of those data, data lean keys. I'm not sure how to pronounce it.
these little guys. Little paper cranes flying around. Oh. I'm not sure. I've been in here. Charms class. Actually, maybe I have. Is this where the Guardian Levios is? Yeah. Like, in the movie at least, I think. Oh, here's Hello, the room. That's a detour, but be good to look around in case there's something back here. You know, there could always be a, a demigod statue or something, too. There we go. Rebellion. Gold rim, circular spectacles. Oh, nice. This is worth the trip already. I hadn't had eyewear in a while. Ah, it's dead even. Man, what a bummer. I guess we'll sell them too. Well, actually, I think I've upgraded these twice, so this should be overall a better pair, I think. Um, why? Because it has no upgrades applied. That's just wig and weld. Okay. Possible classroom games. Levitation lesson. Encourage students to levitate blocks through raised hoops or similar. Disarm and dodge. I want to expel the armist reflexes. Targets on a tangent. Back to basics with casting practice on targets enchanted to move quickly. Ah, cool. I wonder what this is. Ah, oh, it's a level two unlock. Rebellion. I can see something back here too. Ah, oh, darn. It's just taunting me. I've got to get those Timmy Guys statues. It's going to drive me crazy. All right. Oh, apparently we can't fly here. Um, strange. I wonder if there is an altitude block on Hogwarts. I thought you could fly anywhere around Hogwarts once you were inside of it. Okay then. At least we got something out of it. Hope the professor doesn't mind me running around in his room. Alright, down the stairs we go. Is this a chest I haven't done yet? It is. Let's see if we can find this one. Oh. Revelio. Thought I heard something. Let's see, there's something over here. I think it's right here. Yeah. Nice. I was really hoping to find one today, so that's awesome. Come on, little buddy. We know where you're heading. Come to slap. There we go. First try. Still got it. Oh, hi, Wiz. How's it going? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh no. Sorry to hear you're sick. I hope you get well soon. It's never fun being sick. Oh, what's this owl? Ooh. There's something back here. Oh, I've already been here. <laughs> Alright. You're welcome. 
All right, we're gonna play Summoner's Court. I'm doing well. Just been playing a lot of Hogwarts Legacy since it came out. It's been uh, surprisingly good. I was a little bit worried it wouldn't be much fun, but I think it's been great. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Oh, this is different. There's like swirls. Is that like quicksand or something? What is this? Oh, oh, it just rolls you right off. What was I thinking? Ah. Uh. Well, this is going to be hard. Accio. I guess some points are better than none, right? Accio. Well, what happens when she rolls it in there? Well, that speeds it up a little bit. Okay. Let's yes! see. <laughs> she got 30 with that one. There we go. I think I have her beat as long as I don't whiff the last How ball. I, to top that? Oh, I have a feeling you will somehow. Okay, well she got stuck, so... I just need to score, I think, something and I'll be alright. Yeah. Akio. There we go. I think we beat her pretty handsomely. How am I to top that? That settles it then. Yeah, you can't do better. I'm the king. <laughs> After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. <laughs> Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very You've got to have the fancy top hat to win. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Well, good. Yeah. Yeah, I got a few new followers. Um, I played the uh, Command and Conquer remaster that we released, uh, I think maybe back in 2020, um, and it was amazing. Like, a lot of people liked uh, watching it, apparently, and I was just getting hundreds of views on my YouTube uploads. I, I didn't know it would be that popular, honestly, but apparently there's still a pretty big community for that game, and um, yeah, it was good. All right, let's see. What do we get here? Oh, we got Ancient Magic 2 upgrade. Nice. And we only need to do 11 more to uh, get that going. And a, oh, a Magic Chime Spellcraft if we get this. And I wonder what this lock challenge is. Don't know about it yet. Um, and how about our talents? Because we did level up a little bit ago. Let's check the room of requirement stuff. Um, focus potion, tentacula. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, thunder brew. Maxima, the mandrix, visibility, the endurance. Okay. So spells. Sindo. I don't know. I kind of like to wait and get this. Um, transformation spell but I don't even have it yet so I kind of just like why not just keep upgrading the things I have you know um, and we'll enjoy those other things when the time comes the rest of momentum is curse and the disarming curse and dealing damage curse target inflicts damage to all curse targets I think I'll go with that that'd just be so nice to uh, get like a bunch of damage across the board 
really got to start using my potions and my tools during fights because um, it's getting tough. Oh, <laughs> glad you liked my profile picture. Um, it's uh, It was fun making that. Just did a little quick doodle for it. <laughs> Stuck with it. Right, got floopers, and what else do we have here? This is Ronan's lesson plan, and that note to Ben's that we read earlier, and uh, that's it. So, I think that covers most of it now, and I believe we've already seen most of these. So, let's look at our map and see if there's another side quest that we can do. Um, I want to say Hogwarts is mostly taking care of um broom racing event we'll hold off on so let's go let's go to hogsmeade and see it looks like there might be a side quest out here perhaps um oh here it is here's something venomous revenge a man is standing behind the three room six muttering angrily to himself should i engage we can get gold and appearances. That sounds good enough to me. Um, we'll go ahead and go there and maybe stop by one of the shops and sell our inventory just in case we end up getting into uh, a big adventure and need to offload our stuff. Hogsmeade, here I come. Uh, let's see. I know we got a shop somewhere nearby. Here we go. I think this is the broom shop, dude. You're back. Nice to see you again. Hello, Alby. Um, Amber Dash, Hogwarts House Broom, Moon Trimmer, and the U Weaver. Yeah, those are also the same. And huh, this one's boosted higher, I think. So cannot upgrade. So we'll go ahead and sell. And the legendary is good. So let me go in here and check out Thanks my inventory before I actually start dumping it because I have a feeling I should have swapped some of this over the hat yet. So that's good. Nothing here. And uh, let's see. Wow. Yeah. Why did I swap out of this? Oh, I guess it's because I was able to do those upgrades to it. And maybe that's what made it eclipse it. So we'll sell these other two pieces. Okay. That makes sense. I forgot that I did the loom and then I just didn't check um, after doing my loom stuff. So these cannot be upgraded and this can be upgraded one more time. Um, and it matches out to zero so maybe I actually should stick with that and I'll sell the other one. And this can be upgraded two more times but I think the legendary is still going to win out. So let's get these other bits sold. What are we looking for today? Sure, it's going to be a while before I get up to the 3,000 galleons that I want for uh, that three medium Thanks for stopping potting plant by. table. Hope to see you again. Oh. Alright, let's go find this mysterious guy. I think that, oh, I was going to say maybe I could use that staircase, but it looks like it's going to have me use a different one. I'll right. fix him, that charm grinder. Charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. I can see why he said that. You do seem <laughs> angry. Of course I'm angry now. In large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. 
Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Heck yeah. You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's Venomous Tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Sell your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going minus any competition. Okay, let's do it. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the Venomous Tentacular. Remember, I just need that Venomous Tentacular. Hmm. Wonder if there are any ramifications Mr. Lawley's cellar. for stealing anything else. This if must it's be it. Just stuff I already have, then I'll just get what he wants and leave. Well, this guy has a straight up dungeon. Look at this. <laughs> this must be the cellar. Uh -oh. How to find that venomous tentacular? Looks like it's gonna be a stealth mission. That's fascinating. Let's go this way. Okay. Revenue. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What do we got here? Some money? So let me pick it up. Weird. Okay then. There you go. Go find it. Alohomora. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty sus. No idea if this guy's good or bad or what the story is, but we're just gonna have fun with it. Oh, it looks like I could have also sneaked around this way um let's see which way is he heading yeah go over there well let me have those galleons must have just been something special about those others that wouldn't let me pick them up all right wonder if he's gonna come through the door and just kind of like Pursue me as Where I is that go venomous through the area. Oh, it looks like he did come down that tunnel. All right. Oh, this guy has quite a lair. Look at this. Jeez. Oh, and now I had to fight some of their stuff. This is nuts. We'll try Petrificus Totalis on one of them. Oh, that didn't work. What's that one? We want to get one of the spiders on fire. Nope. Too bad. Oh, 
many spiders. So one of them taken over the whole thing. Hmm, that one was famous. Incendio. Ooh, there are spikes in here. Alright, how many we have left? Incendio. Incendio. Oh, I wasn't close enough. That Good one. For you. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I think we've already got all these, so... It's not going to matter. Um, just out of caution, we'll go ahead and do this. He yeah, has some hork lumps here, though. That's nice. Ooh, too many spiders. Revenio. I don't think we really need anything else in here. Got our own cabbages and stuff too. We'll try not to steal everything from this poor guy. Oh, there's the tentacula. It's huge. So make sure I'm not missing any uh, present back here, but it looks like I'm not. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, ah. I should return to Mr. Barnes. It's, uh, it's really discreet incendio. <laughs> Here we go. Brown eye newt coggles. Hmm. Revenio. Alright, it almost looks like I could cross this beam. Oh, I can. Incendio. Get free go. Yeah, this isn't going to light. Okay. Now we'll head back up to our buddy here. Oh, he is hanging out right there. I got myself caught. I guess the guy perfected guard spiders, so he didn't need to have a guard tentacula anymore. Any luck retrieving a certain friend of mine from a... Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacula. Ha! Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. <laughs> We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, nice. What oh, do we get here? See the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. Dragonhide Herbologist gloves. Ooh, that sounds like it could be an improvement. Let's check our inventory. Okay, what do we have? I think it, we got a pair of glasses that were an upgrade. Yeah. Let's see, these have upgrades applied though, so 90, 90. I think that these would actually be better. They're also level 24, so if we upgrade them, they'll be better. Brown Eye of Newt Goggles. So I wonder if he's have an enchantment on them, kind of like Mad Eye Moody's or something. Okay, what do we have here? That one's a downgrade. Only worth 60 anyway, so I don't think it was ever going to be good. Alright, um, let's look at our map. Okay. Let's see, I don't see any quest markers quite yet. Uh, da, da, da. I don't think there are any. Yep, I think we cleared Hogsmeade and Hogsworth. Hogwarts. <laughs> Alright. Tongue twisters. Um, in the Shadow of the State. So that is a main story quest. What do we have here? Evasive of Maneuver. While visiting Irondale, I heard, overheard a woman speaking to herself about something fascinating. I should talk with her. Um, I might do that. If I ever 
there's like so much of a map over here that's unexplored that would be kind of fun. I also like to do a couple of these um, treasure things, but um, one thing that I learned how to do was how to catch a hippogriff. So I think I'd like to try to find that hippogriff spot again. Where was it? Here it is. Let's go there first and see if we can catch one. I heard there's a different spell than the one that I was using last time. I was using Arresto Momentum and heard that Glacius may do better. So let's get that equipped and go ahead and cast this. And actually, we need to fly over there to avoid these bandits. Here we go. All right. And we need to get our bag assigned here. Oh, I think I heard one. Revelio. Not positive though. There they are. Why is it saying that? Oh, did I kill it? Nope. Oh, I don't know why you wouldn't freeze them. Ah, bummer. Rebellion. Oh, didn't mean to do that either. Glacius. Yes, sweet. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Wonder if the other one will come back. Revelio. Ah, there it is. Maybe I can get it still. Alright, hold still, little buddy. No need to worry. Just collecting you so you can go see your friend again. There we go. Good. Just like that, we have another pair. Not going to hurt you. Nice. Now, let's see, what do we have on the map? I don't think we've been to this one. Let's just fly. Gotta take advantage of our broom every now and then. We'll cover that ground pretty quickly. I think that they made an interesting and kind of wise decision here. Oh, so the uh, bag is for catching um, Fantastic Beasts and then you can take them to uh, the secret room in Hogwarts called the uh, Room of Requirement. And inside of there, there's a vivarium that you can have um, where, oh yeah, we've got a couple of these before. I don't think we can catch more. Um, but anyways, the vivarium is for um, keeping the beast, and the beast have different things that they produce when they've been fed and uh, groomed. So that's kind of where all that comes from. There we go. Levioso. Glacier. Descendo. Oh, look at that. That was a weird glitch. Hmm. One less poacher in the wizarding world. 
Okay, let's see. I thought I had a challenge complete, this, but I guess not. There's a lot of explosives around this little spot. Hmm. Let's see if we can just go ahead and catch another one. <laughs> yeah, uh, Glacius does really well for catching. See another enemy up this way. Maybe we'll go fight them. And, uh. Yeah, where are you? Oh, is it a dog or something? Ah, oh, it's a dog bog. Okay. These. Slice it. Slice a dangling dog bog. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Maybe? Huh, oh, maybe not. Descendo! Oh. Wow, that did a number on me. Damn, is that going? Oof. It's getting hit a time or two by that was pretty rough. Wow. Okay. Now we're to. Looks like this could be an interesting little spot straight ahead. change our route to that but I want to go see about fighting this camp it's not too overpowered go invisible and see if we can do a petrificus totalis on a couple of To learn the error of your ways. Revelio. Ah. Oh. Give me some money. Nope. That's okay. It'll translate to money when I sell it. Oh, what are these? This looks like a den or something. Revelio. I can't tell if they're hippogriffs or what. Maybe Thestrals? Oh, they're Thestrals. Nice. Let's see about this. Here we go. Thinking that they are gone after that. Revelio. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they'll be coming back. Nope. Oh. Here's some wings. Thought I saw one. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what. Sex was this other one that I picked up. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure I can actually tell. Oh, let's see. It's a male. Okay. So let's see if we can find a female while we're at it. Yeah, there we go. Ah. 
Nice. So now we have a pair. Good. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Oh, got scared. Maybe it'll come back now, now that I'm invisible though. For 120 galleons, it'd be good to catch another. Oh well. Hey, we could sell a couple things to this guy. Oh, what's Off this? On another adventure, are we? Would you mind helping a poor witch? Okay, what's the story? Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Maybe. Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Please take okay. Please thanks for your generosity. Nice. Okay. Let's see. I think there's a shop owner over here. I could maybe sell a couple things to you. See if there's something you need. We're doing pretty good on money once we sell our um, fantastic beast inventory. And let's see. Let's see, there's some other enemies up this way. Where are you at? Rebellion. Oh, there are two dog box? Is this what they say? These are? Great spine, dog box. Go ahead and level the plane for it. I'm one of them. These things are pretty dangerous. I don't know the best strategy to take those guys out without using the ancient power. Alright. What else do we have in, in the area? Hmm. Maybe interesting to fly over there. But I think I'm going to warp over to Hogsmeade and we'll go to the, uh, I think it's Brood and Peck. Yeah. We'll get our extra beast sold. And that'll put us pretty close to the 3,000 target that I wanted to have to uh, get the three get medium plant pots. Won't be quite there, but it'll be pretty close. Come in! Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Okay. Strawberry rolls we can sell. And I think that may have actually been it. So let's see, two thrust thrust rolls. See, do we have two female hippogriffs? Ah. Okay, well, we'll sell one of them, and we'll try to get a male one next time. These puffskins are keepers. Let's see, I wonder why that one has a star next to it. Huh. Interesting. Um. Yeah, so I guess we just gotta hold on to the rest of these for now. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. So I think that got us 360. And let's see. We're at on money now. Oh, we're almost at 2,500. So that's close to where we were at the start. You know, um, I spent 1,500 on that chopping station. So let's go back to the rumor requirement. And I think that we'll 
do a collection run of everything and probably call it a day after that. So let's go over here in secret rooms and remove requirement. So is, this is the room of requirement and you can customize uh, a lot of things in here. Um, you can collect different resources such as Moonstone and then these are um, hopping pots and they automatically generate a potion without needing ingredients so they're really nice. Um, and these are chopping stations and they produce um, plant parts and over here we have my fertilizer makers and fertilizer can go on to the plants which I have over here and what plants get used for are for making different potions. And the potions have all kinds of different effects such as healing or making you uh, have stronger casting abilities like more damage so on. These are um, more plants. I'm just gonna harvest everything. And over here are my potion stations so I can brew all kinds of different things here. And you can hold I think 12 of each. So I'm gonna make some more thunder brew because I'm out. Or I'm actually I've got enough stuff to make them so we'll go ahead and make a few of them. And let's see what else can we make. Um, it's a focus potion. Okay. Oh, and we don't have enough duck bog tongue, so let's make another thunder brew. Why not? Okay, this won't take much longer. Let me see what else we need. Um,. It's really just thunder brew. This invisibility potion I could take too, so let's uh I'll just leave that maxima on there for now and we'll wait the next minute or two. But while those are finishing up, I'll go show the vivarium, I guess. And we'll collect those call it a day. So this is one of the vivariums, and I think that there's more than just this to unlock, but you can get different beasts in here, and um, the beasts have uh, different things that they produce. So what I want to do now is set up my um, transfiguration spell. So that can... Oops, sorry, buddy. Did not mean to hit you. They get angry when you hit them too. Ah, it's being used. It's like the unicorns going after it. So move these toy boxes a little bit closer to the entrance. I'd like to move the food thing. I think that they're gonna be using it up. So I might be able to Evanesco it. Let me see. There we go. And now I can sort back down. Alright. Here's our feed station. There we go. Okay, that's all I really want to do is just get it a little bit closer to the entrance so that I wouldn't have to walk as far back. And here you have different um, toys that you can send out. And I'm looking for the one that the unicorn likes because... Yeah, here we go. Thought it might be funny to see if it'll play with it. Oh, that may have got its attention. Let's see if it does it. Uh oh. It's going crazy. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out our petting tool and. Oh. I guess we'll start with the toad. So every 25 minutes you can harvest something from the different animals. And I can't get to the unicorn because it's busy playing. So we'll do our jobber knoll instead. And our moon calf. And our other moon calf. 
Let's see who else. Here we go. Hey, little buddy. And we'll go ahead and recall the toy so that we can get our unicorn stuff collected too. I think it's unicorn fur here. There we go, unicorn here. All right. Let's see if any of our clothing can get upgraded. We'll also collect our potions that we brewed earlier too. You should be proud of all the potions you oh, yeah. Over here. So let's see. Can not read that? Can not read that either? I think we've already done most of what we could. Hey, there we go. Good. Now we can run back down here and check out our potions that are ready to collect. Nope, don't need the Duras. Okay, excellent. So, what do we have left? We need another focus and three more Thunder Breeze, so let's see what we can get. Alright, good. And I think everything else is still brewing right now, so we'll just leave it alone. Um, okay, well that's putting us pretty close at about an hour and a half for our stream. Um, let me check my... Oh, actually these chopping stations and fertilizer might be ready. Let's see. Oh, they're still three minutes out. Fertilizer is really fast, so only four minutes, so... I think that it may be one of the fastest things in the room requirement, if not the fastest. Um, let's talk to Deke too. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what's... Let's see. Moonlight ambiance, natural and earthy. Um, hmm. I would like the room to feel as if. I don't know oh. if I've seen this one, per se. Interesting. I think I did the dark one and it was like a little too dark. Yeah, we could try this for a little while. I think we could definitely do this. Switch it up. Alright, cool. I think this is a nice little improvement. Um, or at least a good change of pace. So we'll play along with uh, this area for a bit. All right, well, we'll go ahead and go to the pause screen and roll credits for the day and say thanks for watching. It's been STR Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a great day.